Hello my dear friends, it is Spooferjock again with another video thingamabob from VatMM. Today's video subject will be on the top facts of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. According to the carmods.dat file, which is responsible for car modification parts, the developers had the idea for customizing motorcycles. The player was meant to take his bike and tune it up in a place like Transfender at some point, but sadly this feature was never completed. On the other hand, this feature wasn't completely cut from the game. Instead of removing these parts, the developers made them from so-called extras so they could appear randomly on the bike. With the help of the GGMM tool, we can see all of its extras. Three different exhaust pipes and two separate fairing parts. All these five extras might correspond to the first five cut parts from the previously mentioned carmods.dat file. The final two remain a mystery. Actually that is not the case. By looking at the same names for vehicle parts, the NTO customization parts are responsible for the NOS system. To sum it all up, you could also add a NOS system to your bike, but only add a small medium size though. It's no fable that at the end of the game, your mission was to kill your former friend, Big Smoke, who was keeping low in his hideout known as Crack Palace. In the movie New Jack City, the main antagonist, Nino Brown, turns an apartment complex called the Carter into a huge crack house. Rockstar pretty much based the entirety of Big Smoke's Crack Palace on the Carter complex from the movie. What is more interesting is that some of the internal files for this place have a Carter tag in them. On the subject of movies again, if you watch the movie Juice, you might recognize this random pedestrian as Bishop, who is portrayed by Tupac Shakur in this film. In the summer of 2013, when everyone was anxious for Grand Theft Auto V to be released, Leslie Benzies, who is known for his work on the Grand Theft Auto series, gave an interesting interview for the French gaming site Juactu. Leslie revealed that Rockstar Games had the idea of including multiple protagonists in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which was not possible though due to the technical limitations of the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox at the time. But get this, the code for this is still left in the game executable. Well-known scripter in the Grand Theft Auto community, Silent, was able to find its roots and activate it. While on the topic, I want to thank Silent for helping me activate this as well. According to his research, the game can handle two protagonists independently. They don't share weapons, health, money, or wanted level, but on the other hand, they do share stats though. Silent supposes that the idea of stats appeared after the developers ditched the multiple protagonists idea. Later in development, this idea and some of its code reappeared in the game as co-op, which for some reason is only available in the PlayStation 2 version of the game. While creating the game, the developers felt very... special about Carl's house and called it Carl's crap in the internal game files. Were the developers pissed off while making the house? It is unknown, but oddly enough, the textures for the house are labeled as Carl's lounge and not Carl's crap. In the initial PlayStation 2 release, there is a hidden pain spray in Las Venturas. It doesn't have a blip on the radar as a result of a collision absence in this specific place. On very rare occasions, you could fall through the ground in this location. Newer PlayStation 2 releases and the PC release have this bug fixed. How did it get fixed? Well, instead of restoring the missing collision, the developers decided to board up the whole secret pay and spray forever. To achieve this, they broke the door so the player will never be able to enter it. This might be the most interesting hot fix ever. It turns out that a long while ago, Rockstar had the idea to implement a DLC system in San Andreas. This DLC system was meant to be called Mission Pack. Mission Pack is an experimental system which allowed the game to load up five additional scripted pieces of content which are stored inside the folder with your save files, and all this could be done without modifying the main game. Interestingly enough, the developers never really showed or told us how to use this system. It was just buried in the game code with no one knowing its existence. Luckily for us, this feature was finally discovered in 2007 by the mod creator Seaman. He dug through the game code and finally revealed how it works. If you want to recreate it, the tutorial can be found in the description. Anyways, like I was saying before, the game can store up to five different mission packs, which are stored inside the folder with your save files. 
Every single mission pack has four different files. The first one is responsible for the name, the second one contains the script code, the third one contains external scripts, and the last one is responsible for the text. Simple and easy. Due to the fact that this feature was never finished, it can't load up external script files and the text can be only stored in one language. Who knows, maybe Rockstar had ambitious plans for this system. Fun fact, today this feature is used by the popular Design Your Own Mission mod. Did you know that the gym barbells are a goldish yellow color because of a texture bug? For some reason, the developers misused the cherry popper ice cream box for every single barbell. What's more interesting is that it was officially only fixed in the mobile port of the game, where they have a true metal texture. Very early in the game's development, Los Venturas had a different name. By looking at old previews like this one from Game Informer, you will notice that it was called Los Ventura. What's really interesting is that if you pause the mobile port of the game, eventually you will see the same old name in the background. This is an extracted image from the game files. Whoever worked on the menu decided to use the early map sketch as a background. Not only does this sketch have an old name for Los Venturas, but also a different airport. That's all for today everyone. If you liked this video, let us know by clicking the like button, and if you want to see more, click subscribe to stay up to date on the latest videos. This has been Spooferjock, and I hope to see you all again in the near future. Thanks for watching.